Paul Pilgrim, looks like it's time for another episode of At Your Leisure. And this week, we're hoofing the same trail many Western stars and legends have taken before. Quite literally, join Rhea and me as we go horseback riding down in Monument Valley. Then, Steve shows off a small town with big ATVing opportunities in our northern neighbor, Idaho. And it's getting hot out here, or is it just me? Learn what you can do to prevent our landscape from lighting a blaze this summer, this week on AYL. Have you ever wondered where the names of rock formations came from, Chad? I have, actually, because <laughs> I've wanted to name a few myself, but nobody would accept them. <laughs> you would name your kids that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. We are out in Monument Valley at the Monument Valley Navajo Tribal Park, and we are out on, on Roy Black's horses on a guided tour. This is a really phenomenal place, and I want to get back to that whole thing about who names these things? Because, you know, you have the three sisters and you have the rooster and everything yep. else. Well, take a look at that behind us. Can you guess the name of what that formation is? Have you got it? <laughs> it's a wagon wheel. It's called the Hub. Do you know who named it? John Wayne. <laughs> exactly. And I have been promised because we were allowed to tell you about John Wayne that I will only make one reference to him during the entire course of this show. Which we can't wait to get started. Yeah, that's true. So right now, let's find out a little bit about some of the magical things you can find down here. I've been doing this for uh, 26 years, doing the Jeep tours. And then uh, about three years later, I started up my horse tour. We do Jeep tours. We start off from uh, the visitor center. We provide like one hour, half a day, and uh, all day Jeep tours. For the horse tour, we do three hours for half a day. And then the all day tour is like six hours. Before they go out on tour, they don't really know what to expect. But uh, when they come back, they're uh, in awe. Usually they're like, wow, it's breathtaking. It's brilliant, never seen anything like it. And that's usually the reaction we get when everyone comes back and they love it. And they like the guides, you know. Each of our guides has something to offer. Some have more knowledge of the horses. Some have more knowledge of the area. Some have more knowledge of the history. But everyone has something to offer here. Incredible. Main thing is we try to have fun with our customers. I like to show them around uh, and tell them about our ways of life here on the Navajo Reservation. I like to tell them about our religion, culture, tradition. They're like skyscrapers, natural skyscrapers, you know. And when you come here, it's like a, it's like an awakening, you know. When you come here and you've never been here before, but when you come here, you, it makes you feel alive and it makes you feel small. You're human. You're not. You're not big as you think you were, and you're just like everyone else. And it, that's what you realize when you're here. Whoever comes here, we try to make them leave happy, no matter what uh, experience they're going on in their life. You know, we try to um, make up for it by, you know, making them leave with a story to tell. One of the reasons you should consider taking one of the tours down here instead of self-driving through the monument is that you will see things otherwise you wouldn't see. We would never have seen this. This is, this is the Hogan. It is just, it is a huge amphitheater, double arch. It has a natural skylight in it. I've only seen one other like this uh, down at Lake Powell once in my life. It's, it's fabulous. It's like Lake Powell with no water. That's, t <laughs> that's beautiful. true. beautiful. However, I do have a quiz question for you. If you look closely, you'll see George Washington's profile. Or is it with a long black ponytail, an Indian chief? Tell us on Facebook, we wanna know. I know. Anyway, right now it's time for us to take off and go to our travel adventure. Welcome back to At Your Leisure at the Monument Valley in Navajo Tribal Park. We are out with uh, 
Spud. And, uh, That's Spud, this is Comanche. And we are with the Roy Black Tour Guides, and these guys are amazing. Not only are their horses amazing, but the guides are wonderful. That's true, Millard's been our guide today. He's just been so much fun. And he is telling us all kinds of history. So what do you think so far? I think it's phenomenal. I, I can't even imagine that there were 160 movies filmed out here before I was born. <laughs> well, Spud, what do you think? Uh -huh. <laughs> He's a talker, Spud. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> so, Spud thinks that we should find out a little bit about this area. The guided tours are very uh, exclusive, and you won't get a lot of uh, a lot of the same uh, sceneries as you would in a vehicle. As you would come here, this is called Sand Springs. It's very, very green. As the spring, everything starts to bloom. And uh, as you run on the other side of this, this sand dune here, you wouldn't get this, you know. All you would see is a desert and a bunch of uh, sandstone monuments, and which is still really nice. But um, as you come here, you know, you kind of get a little bit of down to earth about what, uh, what the people around this, this area is kind of see or what they what they live by and what they do on a regular daily basis. I'm a guide and I like to show you guys a little bit about where we come from, but not only do I get to show you guys and teach you guys a little bit about where I come from, I get to learn a little bit about you guys, you know? I've always wanted to do this my whole life. Ride horses in Monument Valley and here we are. Do you think you and Spud are getting along? Spud, Potato Head and I are just like, we're kindred spirits. So you can see John Ford kind of put us on the on the on the map here, you know, as he made, he was one of the main uh, producers here who made a lot, a lot of films. You know, a lot of Western films were made here. And you got movies way back like 1956 with uh, The Searchers with um, John Wayne. You got some of the new modern movies, you know, like you got uh, Vacation, you know, with Chevy Chase here made made back here. You got um, Forrest Gump made back over here. That one clip here where he was running. In the, by Monument Pass, you got um, you got a million ways to die in the West. And some of the clips in uh, Mission Impossible 2 filmed back here in some of our arches. As I promised at the beginning of the show, I was only going to have one John Wayne moment, and this is going to be it. Well, when you're out on the trail, Cookie, you got to remember one thing: that Rocky Mountain ATV MC always ends up being the star of our trailhead adventure. Yo! Well, that's all the time we have for our show this week. We want to thank Millard and Roy Black Tours for getting us out here into Monument Valley. And remember, there's adventure around every bend. It's up to you to get out and create your own adventure at your leisure. To the stable! hee yeah, hee yeah, yeah. Two hours outside of that, you head east. Oh crap, west. Well, big things sometimes call them the. Sometimes the biggest. Sometimes the biggest, biggest adventures.